So as for spannable strings, essentially they allow you to apply strings or fancy um, formatting onto parts of strings and text views. So in order to use a spannable string, we're going to have to create a text view of some kind. So in our main activity, we're going to get rid of this nonsense here. And inside our frame layout, we're just going to get rid of that. And we're going to put a text view. Text view, uh, match parent, wrap content, and we're going to give it an ID. Text view, standard ID. Get rid of not that fra fragment main. I don't like that. And get rid of this static fragment. I don't know why they insist on shoving that in our face. Like we're, we don't need fragments everywhere. Anyway, get a reference to our text view. Do usual sort of nonsense here. Bog standard code. Yeah, import text view class, and then we're gonna say text view. Okay, so we've got our text view reference. Our, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at spannable strings. So as I said, they're used for formatting sections of strings or essentially doing fancy formatting. So what we can do here is we're going to create a string and we're just going to make it, you know, string string equals spannable string tutorial. Okay, that's what we'll just set the string as, okay? Now, and then the normal thing we do is we'd set, you know, set text and then we put string and that becomes our text on screen when we run this. So when we run this, it should pop up, say spannable strings. Once uh, the thing has assembled itself. And as you can see, we have spannable string tutorial. Now you probably can't see that very well, so I'm just going to very quickly make the text massive. And it's layout gravity to be center. Android freezes text. What the hell property is that? I've never seen that one. Hmm, might pick up something new today myself. Anyway, yep. Set up big strings, blah, 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 blah. And we'll center align the text. Okay. Get rid of that nonsense there. So we're ready to go. So let's format each word of this string differently. Okay. So the first way we create a spanning string is what we want to do is we want to make the first word clickable, the second word smaller, so we'll shrink the text down, and the last one will change its color. So you this normally how you do this is, or the most common way this is done is by stacking three text views beside each other inside a linear layout. Or something but that's ridiculous because the text the text views don't fold down properly you can't put each one as a word it just ends up being a mess so the easiest way to do this is a spannable string so we create a spannable string new spannable string and we pass in whatever string we want to turn into a spannable string so now we've got a spannable string and essentially it's very easy spannable string dot set span and you have to pass in now the objects you pass in are the span type, or the object span, the start and end, and a flag. Now we're going to ignore flags. There are a couple of flags here we can use, like inclusive, exclusive, uh, you know, to the start and end to overlap the letters or whatever. But essentially, what the first span, or the first thing we need to pass in is our span. So we're going to say new clickable span, okay, and it automatically gives us an on-click method. Uh, the start and end are our indexes, so this is zero. So we want to go from zero to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So zero to ten, and just put in our zero flag. Zero as our flag. So what we've done here is we've set a span that extends from zero to ten on this string, which is a clickable span. And we'll just very quickly log out.
fan clicked. I don't know why I didn't put that in quotes because I'm an idiot. Okay, let's run this. So whenever that span is clicked, this click method is fired. Essentially, it puts an on-click listener on part of a text view, which is what makes it so powerful. So if we click this, we should be getting our log. Oh, I've made a big error. <laughs> I never set the text to be the spannable string, so it's not going to do anything naturally enough. Like, why would it? Like, I didn't set the text for it, so it can't do anything. That makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, it's always the simple things. And look, the string becomes underlined like a link. And if we click it, and we scroll down to the bottom of this godforsaken list, Should get some logs coming out. I don't see them though. It's a bit strange. Huh. Anyway, you get the idea. That's how you set it, uh, the on click for that. So let's put a few more nice spans in. Uh, let's set another span on it. And this time we'll use a new relative size span. And we need to pass in a proportion. So we'll make the text half as wide and half as big. So it's a float method. 0.5F means go for half a size. And we'll set this one to run from 10 to 10 to 17. Okay. And if we run this, we should get a very nice, uh, the string part of this should be nice and small. Let's click OK. Whoops. And as you can see, the string has gotten really small, so small you can't even see it, but that's half the size of the text. And the last span we'll do is we'll just set a span of a string, you could that, uh, set span new, and we're going to look up actually the spans now, so it's going to go onto the internet. Uh, Android spannable strings. There is a class in here that all this text, all the spans <laughs> extend from, but I can't seem to find it. Anyway, I uh, can't remember the name of the uh, span off the top of my head, but I'll just find it now. Okay, so I found the page, or the one I'm looking for. It's character style class, and all these, all the spans extend from it. Now, there is a lot of spans you can have. There's underline, background color, strike through, suggestion, um, you know, locale, image. So you can put images in the middle of text, little small images, URLs, typeface. Uh, absolute size, dynamic drawables, there is tons of spans that you can use and a lot of these are really 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 powerful like superscript, subscript, style so you can style a portion of text inside another style which is really nice but our one is the foreground color span this one we're looking here and foreground color span and we need our color so we'll just type in just color that red for clarity's sake. We'll run from 17 to our string dot length, and we'll set our flag as zero, and we'll run it again. And that'll be pretty much it for this tutorial once this is ran. But as you can see, uh, the spans are super super powerful. And as you can see, we've got a nice red string, so we've got a clickable part. 
a string in a tutorial and that's just app it's just ridiculous like look at that the amount of power you have of formatting the text in a text view so you only need one text view and you can do massive amounts of formatting in fact i'll show you a bonus fact about the text view the text view can also do scrolling if you didn't know this it can scroll like a scroll view bet you didn't know that there's something to look up but text views can do scrolling so there's no need to wrap if you just want a text view to scroll like to set its height and then for the text to be scrollable you can do that the text view is easily one of the most powerful classes in Android I use it for everything I use it for buttons because if you look at the button code it extends text view and just and the uh, um, is clickable method just which is hard coded to return true so if you enable text view that clickable you can have make your own buttons using spans you've got all this cool stuff but anyway guys as always it's been good talk and i'll see you out there